Hey folks, this is Sean with the CubeCast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a clip that recently resurfaced of creepy Joe Biden speaking at a public event somewhere in front of a group of uh, kids and adults. And the guy just goes off on this really bizarre um, rant about uh, liking kids rubbing their hands up and down his hairy legs. Uh, he mentions roaches at some point, which doesn't really fit the context of the video. He also uh, mentions that he likes uh, kids to sit in his lap, uh, which makes uh, sense from all the creepy stuff that we've been seeing uh, that's been coming out about Joe Biden in uh, recent months. And uh, I'm going to get into the clip uh, really quick. I don't want to get off on too long of a rant about Joe Biden, even though I could. Um, but I want you to look up on the screen here at this collage, and this is just a few uh, just random photos that I pulled up, uh, easy to find on the internet, of uh, Creepy Joe coming up and being inappropriate and touchy-feely with women as well as uh, young girls. And I noticed one, and there's these are just a small sample. There are literally dozens more uh, photos and video clips. If you want them, they're very easy to find. I'm not making this stuff up. But if you uh, if you see creepy uh, Joe here, I notice that his M.O. when he gets super creepy and super touchy feely is he likes to come up behind women and children. So it's a it's it's even more creepy because when he's touching women and kids and sniffing their hair, uh, they never see him coming. So he's not even doing it uh, to their face. He comes up behind women and uh, touches them on the shoulders or puts his hand around their waist and he comes up behind uh these young girls and he sniffs their hair uh, and he whispers in their ear and he's done this dozens and dozens of time and or times and one thing that I um, think uh, this this guy right here is a perfect example of a wealthy privilege uh, run amok this guy you can tell that he's comfortable coming up behind women and children and putting his hands all over them and being super creepy and the reason he's doing this is because he's been getting away with this shit for so long that um, he's just become accustomed to it. He thinks that um, he's, uh, you know, he thinks that he's entitled to do this because of who he is. Um, he's been surrounded by yes men um, his whole life. He's a corrupt politician, a career politician. And unfortunately, these are the type of degenerate motherfuckers that the intel agencies and the a lot of the people in our current uh, United States Congress want installed as our leaders and the reason that they want these people installed installed as our leaders is because they are degenerate they are corrupt they are career politicians who have um, learned all the dirty tricks over the years and they will literally allow these intel agencies to do whatever they want and that's the end goal for America um, they want to trample on the Constitution they want no oversight and uh, the and the the reason that uh, there's pr the proof uh, is right there with the uh, the meltdown that they had when Trump was elected. You saw what happened when Trump was elected. Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, as well as as the reptiles and the intel agencies, went fucking apeshit because Trump was a disruptor. He was disrupting their plans. He was disrupting their corrupt way of life. And that's why they've gone through all these drastic measures to try to get him out. That's why they're trying to impeach him right now for some bullshit. Because they will do whatever's necessary, including uh, what we saw with the FBI, um, falsifying evidence, making shit up, spying on people, spying on his campaign, uh, doing anything that they could in their power um, to try to get this guy out of office because he's a disruptor and he threatens their way of life, which is uh, both evil and corrupt. Um, and they don't like that. Uh, we see how corrupt this motherfucker is. He installed his uh, son on the board of an energy company in, in a country that was known for its corruption. So Joe saw an opportunity in the Ukraine because they were so corrupt to make a couple bucks for himself and his degenerate, his degenerate ass son. And that's exactly what he did. When you're trying to fight corruption in, in a country, you don't install your son on the board of a company with no experience and have them pay him millions of dollars. That's not how you fight corruption. Nobody in the world buys that shit. Um, this guy is, he, he's a scumbag. Um, he's always been a scumbag. He was a scumbag when Obama, I can't believe Obama, Obama's not nearly as stupid as this guy. Um, 
And, uh, you know, I didn't really like Obama, but he wasn't a stupid man. And that's the reason why Obama didn't endorse this son of a bitch, because Obama knows some shit about this guy that me and you don't. And that's why when they asked him to uh, to endorse Biden, he wouldn't do it because Obama's not an idiot. He's not going to endorse this guy because he knows he's got all sorts of skeletons in his closet. And he also knows that he was corrupt in the administration, that he was uh, uh, taking advantage of corruption in countries like Ukraine by putting his stupid ass son on the board of an energy company. That's what these motherfuckers do. So um, God help us all if he ever gets installed as president because he's going to allow these intel agencies and the U.S. Congress to run roughshod over our Constitution because he doesn't care. He can barely make it through a speech nowadays. He doesn't have all his faculties. It looks like he's got some form of dementia. He publicly is touchy-feely with women and children, and he brags about, about the shit in, at public events. This is a guy that lives in, the, in a vacuum of privilege and power and corruption, and that's just who he is. And that's why the media is drooling over this motherfucker because they want people like this installed because the media is just, uh, you know, they're another arm of our government at this point. Um, you know, it's just a propaganda machine. They're going to root for whoever the uh, deep state establishment wants uh, as their candidate. Uh, that's why they hate Trump because he's a disruptor and that's why they love uh you know, idiots like this. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to get in this video. It is super awesome. Uh, it's funny as hell. The guy is clearly a soup, a lunatic. Um, there's no way he's going to be the next president of the United States. He wouldn't last five seconds on stage with Trump. Trump would slice and dice this boy in no short order. Uh, take that to the bank. Uh, anyway, here's the video. Super, super funny. I saw that made me aware when I was in law school proudly for Holloway proudly for your dad first African-American state senator in the state of in the state of Delaware everything about and by the way you know I sit on the stand and it get hot I got a lot of I got hairy legs that turn that 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 that, that, that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. I bet you do. And I tell you what, the men, they're now all men, the guys I work with down here, and they're all guys at the time, they're all good men. Most of them made an awful lot of themselves. And Earl Larkin had a rough time. And some of you knew Earl. I, def I came back as a public defender. Here I saw that made me aware when I was All in right. law school. Proudly for Holloway. Proudly for your dad. Okay, guys, so that was the clip that I'm talking about. That clip is making the rounds on the Twitter sphere as well. Uh, Twitter's going nuts over the video, uh, obviously because um, he's saying some pretty uh, creepy, disturbing shit in the video. That makes no sense. I'm sure his campaign is got is, you know, I'm sure they're doing damage control right now, but he just can't stop doing this. He's going to keep doing it because we've been seeing him do it for months. He can't help himself. He's not a contender. He's not going to be able to deal with Trump in any sort of debate. Uh, Trump is going to make mincemeat out of this guy. Uh, so anyway, please uh, like and subscribe to my video. And if you think that Creepy Joe is a creepy motherfucker just like I do, uh, please leave me a comment uh, down below. Thanks for watching.